Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Sim Airport Let's Play. Last time we refreshed and upgraded this seating, boarding, waiting, boarding area, that whatever it's called, and um, it's looking all right. Now I've made a couple of little changes, but nothing pretty made. We've got large doors on the bigger gates now. Um, the gate agent desk seemed to be getting close to handling it and I've finished off bringing all the gates upstairs nothing that uh, nothing that drastic so now we have this area it could be better and there could be more things up here but for now it's enough I want to concentrate downstairs downstairs we have this tiny tiny food kiosk and a tiny coffee kiosk for all these thousands of people that appear to be coming through our airport. This is not good enough. So, what I propose is that we put a kitchen in and an eating area. Now, to do that, um, the escalators are down on this side. So I was thinking if we put the kitchen down here and the food court here, that should be fine. My problem is, is I have no idea how big a kitchen or food court should be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to line up with these escalators here. We're going to leave a good gap and then we're going to put a kitchen in. Same size, same side there. We're going to put a gap, uh, room for a couple of doors maybe, a bit more wall there and there we go. Right, so we've got something like this. There we go. That's going to be our kitchen. Now we need staff doors, I presumably. Staff. There we are. Door, door, staff, door, staff, door. Put a few of them in there, and our workmen should be along sometime soon to sort that out. And we can zone it, I think. Can we zone it? Yeah, zone it as kitchen. Right. There we go. We've got a kitchen zone. Now it's complaining. It needs kitchen sinks, cutters, prep carts, refrigerators, pizza ovens, and enclosed space. Well, I've got one of them on its way. Um, I can see pizza over near here, so let's do that. Now, for, to begin with, we're going to set up one cooking station just to the left of this door. So we're going to put a pizza oven there. There we go. Now, what else do we need? The kitchen sink, a cooker, and a prep chart. Right. Well, there's a kitchen sink. Let's put that in there. A cooker. There's a cooker. And a prep. A prep, there we go. A prep cart. So, in theory, is that everything? Let's have a look. Let's cancel that. So, we've got the kitchen sink, we've got the cooker, we've got the prep. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Let's get one of those. So, that is a cooking station. That's the minimum requirement that we need for a kitchen. Now, in theory, we can have one, two, three, four at least eight of these cooking stations in there if we need it maybe even 16 almost certainly 16 there's a few other things that are want in there things like bins decoration all that sort of thing one thing i think this game might be missing is lighting at the moment everywhere is just lit presumably from led lights in the ceiling that we can't see be interesting to see if we had to do that anyway here come our workmen there they are they're all coming in to build the walls and so forth. Let's just push that forward a little bit. And they're doing quite well. Now, whilst they're doing that, we're going to need flooring. And because this is a food court, we need different floor to what's everywhere else. So, let's click, click, pick a floor that's appropriate for a food court. Now, this, this carpet here, carpet three, that's quite jazzy. Kind of like that. Um... We've got the decorative tile floorings. I think they're more for maybe bathrooms and so forth. And then we've got big stone floors. The wooden floors I do like. I feel like... I, I think maybe a dark wood floor would be quite nice. Let's, let's go with wood 05B. There we go. So for wood 05B we're going to do this. I'm probably going to regret that. Don't know. That was eighty-eight. It was one hundred and eighty-eight thousand. I think it was. Missed it. Anyway, kitchen's nearly done. We've got all our different uh, people 
using a hammer, using a spanner, and a hammer. That's how you install a pizza oven. Smack it with a hammer. Right, and that kitchen is now a kitchen. Right. What's the zone that goes with kitchen? Ooh, we can have an arcade. We'll have to put one of them in. Uh, we don't need an office. What, what is it? It's not a flight crew lounge, although we will need that. We'll need a first class lounge. Electrical? This is where you... Uh, what? Wires? Low voltage? Audio? We'll have to look into that at some point. Aha! Calf. Right. For now, this is the calf. Won't let me zone it. I guess we have to wait until this floor's put in. Floor in, floor in, floor in. Keep that, put that floor in. Oh, yes, definitely a good decision with this colour. I like it. Now, I guess we're going to need a food worker. So let's get one of them for now. There we are, we've hired a food worker. Now, that gives us all different types of staff. Um, the only staff we haven't got is a CTO and a finance person. Are we, are we doing research? Where's our research? Is it down here now? It is down here. Okay. Um, fuel and advanced security and advanced, advanced ticketing. I don't know what that does. Um, credit reports. I think we are almost... Let's get aviation ops in. There we go. Why not? We just want to research everything, basically, don't we? All the floors in. Brilliant. So, let's get that zone. Uh, calf. Plop. There. Now that's a calf. Now what do we need in the calf? It's going to tell us. Cash register. And a calf table and a calf chair. Now. The cash registers. Do they? I don't know how it works. Do, do they have a, like a servery? Uh, let's go objects. Let's have a quick look through. We've got the arcade and stuff. We're going to need more ATMs in. That's fine. There's a cash register. We'll get that sorted too. There's our calf table, B calf tables, chairs. Um, coffee maker, apparently. We'll put that in the flight lounge, definitely. Um, and then we've got all the pretty stuff. Digital ad display. Ooh. That looks fun. Uh, flight info, we'd need staff for that, so we won't put that in. Uh, we've got everything, including a kitchen sink and hangers and stuff. So it looks like they just sit down at the calf. Let's put a cash register in. Let's start again in the middle. So let's put that this way around. I think we need to have a gap. Uh... Monitors facing away from us. Monitor facing towards us. Okay. Let's put that there. We'll see how that goes. And we'll start with some calf. Let's just type the word calf. There we are. Right, now we've... No, not calf W. Not calf R W. We've got a calf chair and calf chair B. The calf chair P Bs are much better. And the calf chair a table Bs are much better as well. So, let's get some tables in. Now we're going to put a few here and a few there, and then we'll extend beyond the escalators. So we want a space, uh, and then another space, a chair and a table. But we're going to have four chairs around a table. So, like that. And then we'll have a space, because I hate it when you go somewhere and you sit at a chair, in a chair, at a table, and the person at the table over there, their chair is up against your chair, and then nobody can move anywhere. Eat it. Right, now does this fit in beautifully? Oh, look at... Oh. Doesn't matter. I can fix this. If we cancel that project, cancel that one and cancel that one, we can do a double in the middle. Just in case there's like a party of six or something. See, like that. And then we'll do the same again up here. Uh... There we go. Now, what I could do is put even more tables in the other orientation, but I won't do that just yet. Be nice to see if we can get this calf up and running just like, bam, like that. There we go. Now, of course, we can add plants and statues and stuff in. But for now, that's how we're going to start. Right, let's build all that stuff. 
Now, again, we've spent a lot of money. We've got 10 million in the bank. The airlines aren't. Oh, the airlines are a bit annoyed with us. I think it's because most of the aircraft that I'm putting out at the moment are late. Uh, but that's not my fault. It kind of is my fault. Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Where are all my chairs and tables? We haven't even got a cash register in yet. Come on. Where are they? Oh, here they go. Look. Here it all is. Getting put in. Ah, oh, that's going to look nice when it's all done. Right. So in theory, must be assigned a kitchen zone. Okay, assigned to kitchen. There we go. Do we need the kitchen? No, kitchen has no available inventory. What? Kitchen has no available in right. Why? Because people want pizzas and oh, people are sitting down already. We need. There's our cook, there's our food worker. They're just stood there. Well, we've got a problem here. One or more garbage zones is full. Again? I sorted this out an episode or two ago. All these dumpsters are full. Okay. Do or me. Stir. This will solve our dumpster problem, then we'll be all fine. Garbage, go away, go away, garbage. There we are, sorted. Right. That should fix that problem. Now. What was I talking about? Oh, yes. The kitchen has no available inventory. I'm going to work out what that is. Hang on. Right. There we go. Just quick as a flash, I've had a look, and it is likely something to do with stuff being brought in and also probably storage units. Kitchen storage. Right. So, we're going to put some kitchen storage in. I want, how many squares is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, planning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is room for storage. I mean, what I was thinking was, is that we could have a lot of kitchen workstations here. Like this. There's lots of space for, and there's, well... It annoys me a little bit that there's like that, like that. But what I'll do is I'd put a wall in between, like, here. Yeah. I'd do something like that. Any hues. Let's put magenta down. Uh, let's get that storage in. So I'm thinking we just do four blocks of storage like this. See how it goes. We'll get that put in. We'll see what the problem there is. We've got one extra staff already that we don't need. How's everything else going? Let's go up the stairs and see how these aeroplanes are doing. They're not quite leaving on time by the looks of it. We need to make this queuing and gating more efficient. It looks like it's flowing though. So do I, do I need more? Yeah, we're two minutes late now and the flight's nearly full. Three minutes. So it's only just going to be late. And why? What's the problem? We've got our gate agent desks and the gate agents. There's four of them. Are they just poorly laid out or do I need more? Leave your thoughts, ideas and questions about that down in the comments section because I would have thought that this would have worked and it's clearly not. So, let me know how it goes. Some people didn't even get to board that one. It just left. Right. Okay. So, it looks like our storage unit's in and the kitchen has no inventory. Right. It is 12.17 in the morning, so I'm hoping that we're going to get some deliveries. We do have loads of dumpsters that are being emptied, so that's great. Uh, we've got a massive area of pickup. We've supply boxes of... Ah! Supply boxes apparently here somewhere. Don't know where. Plenty of people are using the restrooms, but that's fine. These restrooms are starting to look better. Oh, those ones aren't. Don't look at those restrooms. Chris Donuts. It's just Chris and Donuts, apparently, in the in, the, in that kitchen storage. Well, hang on. Is there another kind of storage? Shelf storage. Helps with supply management, increasing the capacity of your supply zones. Oh, right. Supply zone. I've got one of them down here, look. No, wait, that's not it. Deliveries. Is that what it means? No, it doesn't go in deliveries. No, it doesn't go in kitchen. 
Oh, it, goes in, it does go in storage, which is fine because it's huge. We probably should sell some of this stuff. We've got metal detectors and all sorts. But why can't I... Oh. We've got transitions which sell for zero. Escalator downs. What does that remove? I can't sell half of this stuff. Oh, well, never mind. Right then. Are you still complaining? Yes, right. I'm going to fix the complaints and then we'll see what happens next. Okay, I've done nothing but our worker has suddenly decided that they're going to stand at the till and we've got a load of people coming in for the first flights of the day. It's four o'clock in the morning. So let's see how things go. Now, these, all this stuff down here, we don't want this. So we're going to dismantle all of this. These calf tables, these... F oh, we've got fancy chairs here now. Can I select multiple... I hold shift, alt, no, I just have to... Is there a shortcut to dismantle? Don't know. I'll have to look into that. It would be handy, because dismantling... Lock, hang on a minute. Nope, that might have cleared the floor in. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, right, what's happening down here? Right, our food worker has gone into the kitchen. Somebody has been to the kiosk. She's taken something out of the fridge. And done some sort of... It looks like pizza preparation going on. Pizza oven, probably something in there. There's a passenger here. He's very hungry. Extremely hungry and probably angry. I would be as well. Um, what will we get? Security areas. No. No. Oh, hang on. Where's he going? Did you eat? I don't know. Maybe. He's gone. Did you take too long to make it? Well, it doesn't matter. We've got more food workers now. Well, we will have in a minute. Not quite sure what's going on. But there's some floor in here and there's some floor in not. And then the kiosk is still here. Oh wait, there we go. Kiosks are, are gone. Right, let's just fix the floor quickly. Uh, that one. Brilliant. Okay. So our food workers are probably just going to all wander around and do nothing. Do we need more tills? I thought this area would be a lot more busy. Tell you what we will do, though. We'll add stuff to it. So, we'll have an ATM. We'll have a few ATMs. We'll have one at either side. Oh, do we need a queue for the cash register? That'd be handy, wouldn't it? Um, now... Is the food worker just going backwards and forwards because the other food workers are just... I don't know where the other food workers have gone. They've just gone, gone. Are they are they're the old-fashioned kind of food workers? Okay, we'll hire another one. So there's one in the kitchen and one on the cash register. Brilliant. Um, and then that's the ATM. So well, let's get drinks machines in. Uh, drinks vending, drinks machine... We'll have both. So what we'll do is we'll have uh, a couple of machines and a couple of vendings down here. And food. And we'll have a food vendor as well. There we go. That looks rough. That's almost in the middle. But let's get a bin. Big bin. Or, or medium bin. Hard to tell which way that's rotating, but we're going to put it there. Put it there. Okay. Oh, looks like there's a bit of a queue forming. Now, can we actually put a queue in? There seems to be queues for everything else. Why not there be a queue for this? Let's see. There's a queue. Right. This assigned to... Yes, you can assign to queues. Brilliant. Right. Stop it. Stop it. We need... Right. Get rid of the queue. We're going to do it properly. Object zones. Queues. Remove. Go away. There we are. Brilliant. Right. More cash registers. How many more, though? 
let's say if we put two cash registers here and then we'll have two for that side later they are look we need to hire another member of staff to do that and we'll hire another food worker put another lot of kitchen in oh this is brilliant uh queues 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 uh and we're gonna say the queue comes to here and no it's a terrible queue i don't know what i was thinking well, i'll tell you what i wasn't thinking i was just we could just do a big queue no, there's a queue there's a queue for the tills you get in the queue it's not assigned to it signed to this queue brilliant and then this cash register what are you doing no staff where's all the staff gone how many staff do we have we have four food workers now okay let's let's put this in again so we need a refrigerator re refrigerator come on there we go and that is um Hang on, I'll just put the rest of this in quickly. And the prep card. Brilliant. Okay, so... We've got four cooks. Must be placed in a kitchen zone in order to be restocked. Must be placed within a kitchen zone. Okay, let's dismantle that. And we will put new ones in soon. Drinks machine. Dura inks machine. I'm not quite sure where these drinks machines will go, but let's put one there and one there. And then they can make drinks. So now we've got four staff. No, I don't know how many staff. Hang on, let's just assign that to the queue and to that kitchen. Brilliant, okay. Okay, so the queue's stacking up. If we need to, we can put another cash register person in, but for some reason we need one of these food people to realise that they need to go and do something. At the minute, I can see one cooking and taking the food out. The food worker's actually taking the... He's taking his food out. Where is he? Where's it going to? you got a tray under your arm. Are you having to walk around this queue? Ah, you are, aren't you? That's probably not the best way to do a queue, then. Hmm, we'll see. I don't really want a long queue there, anyway. So, uh, queues. Let's just shrink that down for now. So put look uh oh yeah go to the back of queue start again yeah it's starting to get really busy around here um what i will do yeah what i will do i just had a quick think is that between now and next episode i will duplicate the seating arrangement on the other side maybe put a couple of others in and we will then see how we can then make this uh, this calf and seating area all look a lot better because at the minute, it's, it is just functional. There's no pretty stuff. We'll get all that into a line, and then we'll look at other things like that next episode. It's working, though, which is nice. People are going to get fed and sorted. The only problem is, is I think we might need a few more people to work here. But I'll add those, and I'll see you next time. If you've got any thoughts, ideas, or questions, or answers to the questions I've asked you throughout the episode, please do put them down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the episode, please do give it a like, and if you want to know more about me, the videos I do, and the events that I do, head out to masterhellish.net. But for now, thanks for watching, take care, goodbye. <laughs>